Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to episode two of our renovation. Again, before we get into this one though, right here is my link, right there is my QR code. You could scan it with your cell phone and it will take you straight to my free mobile app. You'll receive homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's get into this one. So I'm gonna walk on in here just really quickly because it is a little loud out here today. But again, this one is going to be coming on the market hopefully in the next two weeks before April 1st. We're gonna be doing quite a few things to it from the outside. We're gonna be putting a little bit of greenery. We're gonna be fixing, uh, painting the patch, painting the eaves, the fascia. We're actually gonna do this pop out, that pop out, right over here this pop out and the front door all the same color i'm actually really really excited about this one again make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date if you're interested in a home i will be posting the next video probably two maybe three days before it goes live again if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button it really helps the channel out so a lot has been done. I'm gonna do a third video, or I guess the fourth video of the before and after so you could truly see how it looks. I'm not gonna spend so much time today on talking about the home. Again, I'll link the first video uh, down in the description and the pinned comment so you could see what it looked like before. There was a pony wall right here. It's gonna be so, so cool, but stick around in this video so you can at least hear some things. And I'm gonna be talking more about if you're thinking about doing a renovation, a remodel, definitely call a realtor first if you're thinking about doing it to put it on the market. There's a lot of things that go into it, a lot of questions. Again, all my info down in the pinned comment and the description below. But this home right here is a four bedroom, three bath. It's a little over 1,800 square feet over in the Southwest. Now there was an option to do a fifth bedroom right here. This one, obviously they did the den. Let me know down in the comments, would you rather have the den or would you rather have the fourth bedroom? I'm torn. It's sometimes nice to have a downstairs bedroom, but at the same time, this would be very, very easy to change. Again, right here's our closet. If you were to do this as a fourth bedroom, or excuse me, a fifth bedroom. And you can see painting is coming along. Just a little bit more. We should have the downstairs all done, hopefully, Today is Saturday by Monday. We come around, I'll go upstairs real quick and I'm just gonna keep talking about other ideas that you may wanna consider rather than talking about the house so much. Again, I'll talk more about it in the next video and in the last video. So coat closet, we have our mud room, laundry room. They just pulled the washer dryer out for right now. We're doing all hard surface flooring downstairs, carpet upstairs new appliances, new sink. And again, I'll touch on those things as we get around them. So your downstairs bathroom, we're even fixing these windows because that is uh, quite an eyesore. You have your toilet, your tub, shower combo, and we have our vanity. So not a ton of stuff, but just a really nice stuff that's gonna make the property just look so much better. It was what, almost 20 years old. It was built in 04 and it's just never been touched up. So getting all of those items done, again, from the entry all downstairs is gonna be a darker wood look, hard surface flooring all the way through the kitchen, through the laundry room, through the bathroom. Starting upstairs, we are gonna be doing carpet. But again, like I was saying before, if you're thinking about selling your home, you're wondering, should I do some renovations? Give an agent a call, get all my info down below because you may think you wanna put all your money in the kitchen or this area or that area, and it may not make sense depending on your community. Again, Las Vegas, there are a lot of track home communities out here, so it's really gonna depend what's your end goal. There's a lot of questions that need to be addressed, a lot of ideas that need to be taken care of to be able to get you the best return on your investment. Sometimes it may not make sense to do anything. It may make more sense to just put it up on the MLS, but again, you may not know that until you talk to a realtor. Here's our second bedroom. This one is just a touch bigger than that last one. We have our window and our closets. So they repainted all the doors. Again, all of 
These walls will be that, it's like almost a gray, but it is a beige. I don't know if it comes up gray on camera, but redoing all the painting inside. Upstairs again, all carpet. You have our linen closet. And I'm going through this one a little bit quicker just because there's not a lot to see. It's more just, wow. <laughs> it's almost intimidating. We have our window again. Nice thing about all of these rooms is they do have the pre-wire for a ceiling fan and light. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there are three switches on the wall right here. So one's your fan, one's your light, one is your half hot, and that is that guy right there. Whenever you see an outlet or a receptacle upside down, that means that that is on a light switch. So if you can't figure out where one of your light switches go, look for one of those. It's gonna be either the top or the bottom, just depends on how they wire it. Usually it's the top. Coming back and around, Upstairs bath, and again, these windows. So we're getting those taken care of. That is a fiberglass composite tub shower combo. A lot of people do like these in these types of homes just because the grout lines, sometimes those can be tricky to clean. We do have one sink plus a little makeup area. I've heard such mixed things about these. It's 50-50. Some people want the second sink. Some people like the space for just everything else, you know your toiletries or whatnot, your perfumes, your makeups. Let me know down in the comment, would you rather have double sink or the extra vanity space? I'm curious. Again, nice size master. It looks so much smaller on camera when there's no furniture in here. You have your J box up in the top for your light and fan. But trust me, it's way, way bigger. Again, if you want to call and ask questions and even see this maybe prior to it getting on the market, all my info down below. I will be posting that next video probably in the next, I don't know, a couple days or so, so that you could see it even before it hits the market. We have our toilet, we have our tub shower combo. Now this one is bigger, it is fiberglass. I'm not gonna move the closet doors. They are covering the vanities. I know for a fact there's only a single sink and there is another makeup vanity here. So just one sink. Again, if you wanna see it before it was ripped apart, the entire video is gonna be linked down in the description and in the pinned comment. And then I will be posting another video of it all done. I'll be doing a before and after video. And I'm curious, if you want me to do a Q&A video, if I get enough questions down in the comments, I'll do an answer video just to see what you guys are thinking, what you guys have questions about. Now, as far as pricing goes, we don't have our final pricing yet. I'm gonna say low to mid fours. It's gonna be under 450 starting, that's all I know, but it's gonna be closer to that upper, or excuse me, uh, mid four range. So, I love the fact they pulled the pony wall out. I can't wait to show the before and after video of this. It's gonna be <laughs> completely, completely different. It has a fireplace. I'm gonna come around, just so you can see, this room is so big. It feels way bigger than 1,800 square feet because I believe it's 1818. You have your breakfast nook and we have our kitchen. I'm gonna come around this way. Now, we just ordered all new appliances. They're stainless steel. And we are gonna be changing out this sink. This sink has definitely seen better days. So we're gonna be putting a stainless steel sink, stainless steel dishwasher, oven, microwave, and then refrigerator. So this home is going to be really, really nice. We're gonna keep the browns just because we already have all of these really nice brown window treatments. So rather than just take those off, throw them away, and try to go with the more grays, we figured let's keep the browns, let's keep it more of the warmer tones on this one, just because every single window, minus I believe the bathrooms, have window treatments. This room is so, so big. Let's go ahead, I'm just gonna show you the backyard really quickly. I'm not gonna do a whole lot to that. It's in decent shape, but again, you may have an idea that you want to do to it and we don't wanna change it too much. We are gonna clean it up a, quite a bit though. So backyard is big. You have this huge, huge patio. What I would do is add a covering. I mean, there's so many options you can do back here. You can do 
synthetic you could even do you could put a pool back here it's that big it's quite a large lot and then coming back on in again if you have any questions all my info down below love to hear from you love to answer them if you want to get in for a sneak peek you can try to do that as well if you're in a different state we could even do virtual tours. I can FaceTime you. I know we already have the videos, but sometimes you want to be able to go back, see this, turn around. Let me know. Again, all my info down below. I'm excited for this. I hope you are too. If you like these types of tours where I'm doing multi-part ones, let me know in the comments below. I've never done one before. I'm really excited to see how this video turns out. Again, if you have any questions, all my info down in the description below. If you could do me that huge, huge favor, hit the like button. If you wanna stay up to date on this one, again, there's gonna be definitely two more videos coming, maybe a third of a Q&A. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Keep, stay up to date on that. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.